Hey farmhouse friends, welcome back to Bloomer Home and Garden and I have a super big surprise for you today. Now the title sort of gives it away, but let me take you back a few months. I have been looking and researching at the machines that cut vinyl and paper. They are the crickets and they are the cameos. And I have been doing a lot of research about which one I would like, which one would serve me the best. They're pretty similar. They both do a lot of the same things and they have some different features on each of them, of course. So which one was the best for me? Well, after some research, I decided that the cameo was the one I liked the most and that would fit my needs the best. I watched some videos and I watched Mary over at White Cottage Company. I'm going to link her down below. I really like Mary and she's in Ohio and I'm in Michigan so I'm hoping that we're going to get to meet up one day and she does so much with her cameo and I love her work. Now normally I love a good DIY and I mean the long process of making signs. You know, I live in a farmhouse and I love the farmhouse style and and mine is kind of a blend of the Victorian farmhouse when our farmhouse was built and the modern farmhouse decor that's so popular these days. And so I like to make a lot of the signs. And for the longer process, it is you find the project piece you want, a piece of wood or a frame or what you're going to use, and you measure it and you find the font and you measure the font to the project, which is always one of the things that I personally struggle with. If you struggle with finding that font size to the wood, um, give this a thumbs up. And if you have that down pat, please leave tips for the viewers down below because we would all really like to see how to make that so much easier. But once you have your font size you print it off and then you scribble on the back of it with either chalk or um, pencil and then you put that on your project and you go over it again and you you don't scribble no you outline and <laughs> you outline and then you meticulously and painstakingly paint in between those words and I love a DIY and I have no problem doing it that way but this season of my lifetime has just become a very precious commodity. And that's another whole video for another whole day. And I do promise to get you caught up on what's been going on for the last several months and where I've been with my videos and everything has been going on. It's been super crazy. Life has just been full. And I do want to fill you in on all that, but that's a different day. So because time is of the precious commodity for me right now, having a cutter would be great. Now, I was talking about this a couple of months ago with some family and friends, and one of my family members actually sent me a cameo for Christmas. I am shocked. Now, here's the big deal. They don't remember which one they ordered, and they can look it up. That's not that they didn't keep the receipt or anything like that. It did arrive after Christmas, which which is totally my excuse for getting this video posted so late in January. But I haven't opened it because I'm so excited and my friends and family know just how excited I am. I mean, literally, I thought about just doing a happy dance for you, but I'm not going to. But I am so happy. I'm so happy. I can barely even contain myself. I'm just so happy to have this machine in this season of my life. And I don't know which one is in this box. Here's the box right here. It's in this box right here. It's kind of heavy. It's in this box. I don't know. Let's see, it's heavy. I don't know which one is in here. I don't know if it's the two, the three, or the four. And let me tell you, I have no expectations. I don't know if it came with a bundle, some tools, just the machine and a few cutting pieces and the wires. I don't know if it is uh, wired to my computer by USB or if it is Bluetooth enabled or if it is Bluetooth compatible. That's a difference. Bluetooth enabled means that 
when it comes out of the box, it's able to connect to your computer wirelessly. Bluetooth capable means that there is a little bitty um, insert that you can plug in and then it can be wireless to your computer. So I don't know what's in here. Just tell you how grateful I am, how thankful I am to have this and what a blessing it's going to be in my life and bring you along so you can see at the same time I do what exactly is in the box and what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's crack this baby open. Okay, I have my box cutter and I will give you moment by moment, step by step, what would help if I used the box cutter. See, I'm so excited, I'm using the box cutter upside down. All right, so I have my box cutter and we're gonna open it very carefully. And I will give you moment by moment commentary on what I'm finding in the box. Oh, maybe, maybe the box cutter, there we go. So the first thing we see, let me spin us around, is the word, Silhouette. Yes, we see the word silhouette. It's a white box. And that's all the information we have at the moment. By the way, it was shipped in just another like Amazon box and it didn't have any clue as to what was inside in that box. And this box was in that box. So now we have to get this out of the box. So stay with me. Oh mercy, it's down in there. This is a very snug box. And you know, if you watched my organization video, um, tips for organization the other day, you know I love to save my boxes, so no. I'm not gonna cut the box. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna flip the box upside down. Okay. And then take off the big box. Ready? There we go. Okay. Sorry, so noisy, guys. Okay, so I have no information. There's just some real fine print on the box. And actually, it's upside down. Can you see any of it? No, not really. Okay, so let's turn it around again and read the front of the box. Okay, friends, I've grabbed my glasses and we are in position. And let's see if we can read it now. It is a Cameo 3, guys. It is a Cameo 3. And it says desktop cutting system, design and create custom projects for home, businesses, school, or hobby. Yay. Okay, so um, what else does it say? It doesn't. Okay, friends, I just switched over to a voiceover because moving the box around was so loud and I didn't want that to be annoying for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the box and see what's in there at this point. And once I'm in here, all I can see is a piece of paper. I don't see an instruction manual, but this says uh, the bottom half of it is uh, all these are foreign languages. This top one tells me where to go to get the instruction manual. Here is a box that has some cords in it and a cutting mat. That is all that is in the box. All that is left is just the Cameo itself. And so um, got that out of the box now. I'm going to open that. I have to say I was pretty impressed with the way this was packaged. I think it was uh, done really well so they want it to get to you without it being damaged and they've done a great job packaging it. Now I just want to open it up and show you isn't it just so beautiful I just love it. Um, we're gonna take this tape off and look in on the rest of it. I just want to show you what the inside looks like. The inside uh, it looks just like a printer and it's going to move back and forth and this is actually where the cutting is going to take place as it cuts out and this is a touch screen that communicates to the computer itself and I think uh, correct me if I'm wrong that you can change paper size and, and whatnot through there now this little tiny compartment right here is where we will plug in the USB to make it wireless not if it's going to be wired now this is the wired USB that goes to the computer and an extra cutting blade and this is the power cord and that was all that was in the box. Now, in anticipation of getting uh, started on and opening the box, I have set up a Pinterest 
board for silhouette and there are so many great tips and tricks and hacks in here um, how to cut on different surfaces vinyl and paper and cardstock how to clean your blades how to uh, change the blades how to get a perfectly clean cut there are so many things I'm so grateful that someone else has gone ahead of me and done all this practicing and then put it out here for us to learn how so I will be doing that as well as watching some more of Mary's videos over at White Cottage Company and I also did a Pinterest board I've had this board for a while um, some of these fonts I have, some of them I don't have, but this was some great inspiration because it has some signs, it has some fonts, it has ways, tips and tricks and hacks as well, how to move those fonts and do all that. So I'm really glad I have this one and I'm going to use it for sure. And while I've been waiting, I also did go ahead this past week and I did download some fonts to my computer. So I did go to some of those Pinterest boards and I've downloaded some ones that I think would be cute and fun to use in my projects. Well friends, that is it for this video. I'm gonna stay right here and finish hooking up and registering and finding out all the information I can about where this needs to be put together and I'll show you uh, when it's all hooked up. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, head over there, Bloomwell Home and Garden, that's all you need, and follow me over there and you'll get to see more behind the scenes and the projects that I make. Also, if you would please take a moment to subscribe to my channel it really does help my channel grow and I'd be very, very grateful. And you will also get to see all the projects I make and all the DIYs and all the fun we have here at the farmhouse. So thanks so much for coming along, everyone. I'm so glad I got to share this experience with you. I'll see you soon, guys. Be blessed and be safe.